Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. I want to talk about uh, Google's new browser, Google Chrome. Um, for those of you who don't know, we actually dis I, I discussed this uh, last Wednesday from on my, my radio show called Call for Help. It's every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And we do live calls and we talk about tech and the latest in tech news and reviews and product, uh, um, you know, products and gadgets and whatnot. But last week, <clears throat> excuse me, we talked about Google Chrome and what Google plans to do with Google Chrome in the next um, three years or so. And you'll, I'll get to why I say three years late in a few minutes. But I want to talk about Google Chrome. First of all, Google Chrome is a pretty nice browser. It's, uh, of course, it's Windows only right now, but I guarantee you they're, 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 they're on the top of their priority list right now is, is Mac OS X and then, and then Linux. But I'm tell, uh, let me tell you why I'm saying uh, OS X is going to be on the top of their priority list. Um, first of all, if you haven't seen, Sergey Brin, the co-founder of Google, said the other day it's an embarrassment that he has to run <clears throat> Chrome on a virtual machine in VMware Fusion on his Mac. So I guarantee you that they're going to be working on a a Mac version in the coming months. I, I I couldn't I cannot you know see that it won't be out in a few months from now. So that being said, I want to talk a little about Chrome's features because I'm sure most of you have messed with it by now, and there's plenty of things out there that talk about all the different features. But I'm going to highlight a few of my favorites. <clears throat> Those being the application window, uh, the tabbed, the way the tabs function, and the way the tabs function. Um, so let me talk about the, what a ta the way the application window works. Let's say you're writing an email <clears throat> in Gmail, for example, right? And I know a lot of people use Gmail. It's a very popular web-based email that Google provides. So you're writing an email, and all of a sudden you hit refresh, or you click away from the page. You know, you lose that email you're writing. That sucks. So how does how, what does Google say to prevent this from happening? How do they what did they think of? Well, they came up with the application window. Now the application window essentially is a you you go to Gmail you log in and you click in the in the top right corner there's a uh, button there and you click and it'll bring down a menu and then what you're going to do is create an application window and what you can do is you can place this on your desktop in the quick launch bar wherever you like in the start menu and it provides a little icon that you can click and it will open Gmail in a separate window with none of the browsing um, functionality. It basically acts as a window for an, like an application, just an application. So that way you can't refresh or anything. You can't lose your data. Your data by by data I mean your the email you're writing, or you can't mess up anything by clicking you know an external uh, button. So what the application does is strips all that and allows you to work within Gmail because Gmail of course has all the functionality built right in. All right, so that's really cool, and that works with you know any web-based application you have you want to use it with really. So that's really nice. I like the application window. On the second hand, I like the t the way the tabs work. The way the tabs work is it spawns a new process for each tab inside the browser, and the and the browser you can manage these tabs via the task manager, which is built right into the browser itself. It has its own task manager, so you can see what's taking up CPU, what's taking up memory. If you have a very flash intensive page, you'll, you'll see all that. But what happens is, sometimes you'll notice like in Firefox, you have a page and it just completely freezes the entire browser, rendering it useless. You have to close the entire thing and start over. That really sucks. So Google says, all right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create separate pages, uh, separate separate processes, I mean, and each tab is gonna have be its own process. All right, cool, so how does this help you? Well, what it means is, if one tab fails, you can still access the other tabs without a problem within the browser. And you can control that tab and just close it, or reload it, or do whatever you like, and you don't have to worry about losing anything. Now, what I mean by that is if you, if you, say, if you reload the tab, and you, generally what happens is if you reload a page, you lose your spot on the page um, depending on the browser. But what Google Chrome does, one of the nice things, it repositions you in that same exact spot you were so you don't lose the spot. So you're reading a long document on your web on a web page and you're saying, oh, damn. And you just, you have to reload it. But Google Chrome will bring you right back to where you were and you don't have to worry about losing your spot. Very nice feature right there. I also like the task manager in Google Chrome so you can basically manage its own processes within the browser itself. Very uh, self-sufficient in that sense. You don't have to bring up the Windows task manager 
or or uh, you know OS X's force quit um, or activity console or whatever. So very key, very key. Uh, another thing I want to talk about with Google Chrome is what what I think they're planning on doing with Chrome uh, in three years. Now, now I mentioned three years earlier, but let me tell you what I think why why it's going to be three years. In three years from now, I think Google's planning to have most of the market share in the browser in the browser market. And I'll tell you why. They're aiming to take on Internet Explorer. They're aiming to take on Firefox. Not, and I'll tell you why. Recently, Google re-signed uh, a contract with Mozilla to, for an advertising deal. And basically, that's a three-year extension from what it was. So why I say three years is because the three-year extension that they signed, knowing full well they had this browser in the works and we're going to release it a few weeks later, just goes to show me that they are planning to take over Mozilla, Mozilla, fi you know, the Firefox browser, and as well as the Internet Explorer browser by Microsoft. So it, it just looks that way. And if all fails, if, if Google Chrome is a complete flop, which it really isn't right as of right now, but let's say they do something wrong and they mess everything up, and you know all those bad stuff happens while Google to Google Chrome, which I highly doubt will happen based on Google's past. Um, history in terms of the, the way they allocate their resources towards things. I really don't see how this could flop, but if all fails, let's say the worst that happens to Google Chrome and it, they just kill it. What happens? They, they All that's going to happen is you're not going to see anything else happen. All you're going to see what that's going to happen is that they're going to re-sign the deal with Mozilla to extend the, the advertising deal another three years or so. So th there's, it's, it's not, because basically Google funds Mozilla with their own money. So it's, it's a win-win for Google. Either way, Chrome or no Chrome, you know, they're still going to be, you know, working with Mozilla. And Mozilla, yeah, they're saying, blah, 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 we're not worried. Blah, blah. They should be a little bit worried if I was Mozilla. I'd be a little bit worried, and I would also um, try and incorporate some of these features that, Mo that Chrome has into Mozilla if I was them. You know, so I want to know what you guys think of Chrome, though. What do you, what do you guys think of Chrome? Uh, I want I want comments. I want in the blog post. I want I want uh, comments in the YouTube video. I just want to know what you guys think about Google Chrome. If you've used it, what your favorite features are, what you like about it, and what you think, where you think it's going to be in three years. Does it have a chance to take on Microsoft? Um, you know, with the future of web apps and the way the web is evolving, it very well may be the the platform that we're using constantly as our as our new operating system. Of course, you're always going to need something underneath it to run that browser to get to the web. But I think we're starting to see a trend towards the web. You're starting to see file systems on the web, you know, f storage and, and images and every and video. It's just a way to archive everything on there. So I, I really, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how this is going to work out. I don't think the operating system is going away because some, uh, somehow these, 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 uh, these websites have to function somehow. I mean, they're going to run Linux, you know, Unix, uh, FreeBSD, something or other that they have to run in order to serve up these web pages to provide the services. But that's a whole different story. And I just want to know what you guys think about Chrome. So leave a comment. Of course, this has been live.besttech.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions. And uh, we're streaming live over here at live.besttech.net. We have the chat room going. We currently have 102 people in there. And I just, I want you to stop by and say hi to me. We have a bunch of people who stopped by today just to come say hi and chat up with us all. Chat, chat up with all of us. So anyway, Thanks again, and I will see you. And remember, take care of your computers.